Would you call me a bad person for that? Would you say that hypocrisy yeah. leads you? It kind of it like disturbs you deeply. Yes. Absolutely. So what do you think about me? Uh, or I guess just not even my position, but a lot of people's position, which is like, yes, animal abuse is wrong, but the suffering that they go through is worth uh, me eating a nice steak tonight. How do you feel about that? Based. Well, if you had to experience their pain for somebody to, and and also die and miss all of the you know future well-being that you could have, so that somebody else could experience that taste pleasure, would you accept that? I would. No, I would not. But um, I don't have to experience it, so I get to experience the steak. <laughs> That's my argument, I guess. <laughs> okay. Well, they have to, and I mean, they get owned. They got you fucking would owned. Have to. If somebody so chose. True. But I guess the pigs just have to get good, right? Like, they got to figure out their stuff. Make iPhone. True. Well, that sounds like a might makes right argument. It Would is. you say, because I'm stronger than you, I can just, like, I don't know, torture you for fun? He's got to go. Well, I mean, you can. You, you, right? you, in a literal sense, you, you can. Well, I could. You could. And you can. So, I guess in that case, that's why I'm working out. So, you can, so hopefully people can do that to me. <laughs> That's, nice. the, that's the that's the goal but yeah i mean i guess so so guess like so. to like being totally honest here why okay. like do you genuinely believe that or um is no this like no i mean do i genuinely believe that i don't know i guess for me it's just like i really like eating meat and um i guess in action that is my opinion like <laughs> i don't i'm not really i'm not really bothered by the animal suffering because i like to eat them more than I like them to not suffer, so I guess that is that is ultimately like, you know, if I recognize the abuse but I still eat meat, that has to be the opinion that I have in practice now. Yeah, I mean, if you recognize it as animal abuse, um, like, how exactly do you justify that while also um, justifying your own life? Because I see animal rights as an extension of human rights. So I, I don't see any way where you could claim meat eating is acceptable yet not take away human rights. Um, meat eating is acceptable yet not take away human rights. Well, the exception yeah, so, I guess we make in we make in society right now is like, well, we just eat meat and we don't eat humans, right? Well, I mean, there are societies where people do eat other people. Based. Um, in Uganda, there's actually a human meat trade right now, and the government's trying to tr uh, crack down. Is that on real? It. Yeah. How do they get the meat? Um, they just they just kill people. They just fucking own them. Yeah, um, they either kill people to support the human meat trade, or say there's people who die of like a disease or something, or in an accident, and then like bodies might get stolen and then chopped up and sold in the human meat trade. Interesting. Basically, just but, a bunch of um, yeah. toms, you know. I mean the the animal thing is like an uncomfortable thing for me. Like as I get older, especially, and I'm more aware of these things, like it does bother me. But. Um, I guess I just stop thinking about it. I go eat meat, you know. <laughs> I go, I go to Chick Fil A. I get my sandwich, and uh, well, it, it, it totally slips my mind. It certainly should be something you think of, and I don't know if you've heard the name, the trade argument, but um, this might be something you mm -hmm. want to think about later because a lot of people have trouble with this. Can okay. you name a trait that's lacking in animals that, if lacking in a human being, would justify killing and eating that human being? And I name a trait that's lacking in animals that if lacking a human being would justify eating that human being. Well, no, because I wouldn't justify killing and eating people with like, <laughs> you know, some some sort of disorder that would make them comparable to the intelligence of a pig. I wouldn't support that. Right. So then that would lead to a contradiction on your part or a hypocrisy where of course, you recognize. Yeah. So if you recognize you're a hypocrite, then oh. why do you eat meat? Like, don't you want to be a better person? I guess I do. I do want to. But is it worth not eating steak? I don't know. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, I don't know. It, it, it is to you, undoubtedly. I don't, I don't know if I've made that distinction in my mind yet. I think that would really suck to not eat well, meat. Well, look at it this way. Would you justify... Like, you're basically justifying a holocaust so that you can enjoy a steak. And a holocaust on an insane scale. What is it, like 50 True. billion land animals per year? The and chicken holocaust. And it goes into the trillions um, if you include sea life. Yeah, I mean, you're right. That's true. That's a lot of suffering. So, like, if we're going to, you know, call, you know, human tragedy, like the Jewish Holocaust, you know, unforgivable, an insane, in, like, remarkable tragedy, 
Like, look at, like, you're talking about in the trillions per year when it comes to animal deaths. And you're justifying that by saying steak tastes really good. I mean, I guess I guess I am justifying that. Sort of, yeah, I kind of am. Now, would you, um, would you call someone who, like, I mean, let's say, say let's just say someone in my position right now. Would you call me a bad person for that? Would you say that hypocrisy yeah. leads you, it kind of, it, like, disturbs you deeply? Yes. Absolutely. Interesting. Destiny, how do you feel about this? You're you're staying out. I feel like you're you're cowardly on the meat Despacito. question. Despacito. Yo, you can't. I just did. All right, say the next one at least. You got owned. Okay, you got owned, little bro. Can you say Gangnam Style? Gangnam Style. All right. Um, <laughs> no, you have to engage. You have to engage. I'm this not doing. Stream. I'm not here to run down veganism and uh, fucking abortion arguments every fucking day of my life. No, I Wait, don't. Have to. Do you do it every day? Yeah, it's just like the most like horrible fucking <laughs> line of argumentation to ever run down. I'm not subjecting myself. I don't have. I don't know why you're saying you have to do this. I don't have to do anything. Turkey Tom, you're a guest on my stream, motherfucker. Well, I'm a guest on your stream, and I'm forcing your hand. And you're not forcing. Um, me. Look, you can't I'm trying force to force anything. your hand. I'm, try right. I'm trying. You don't have the I'm mic trying. here. I have information that will lead to your arrest. You have to say it. Yeah, you and every other person on the internet that's fought with me, huh? Me and Mr. Girl are working together on our, on our, my next video. Best. Um. Nope. Okay. Okay. I, I, Vegan gains. I, oh. Oh. <laughs> I, I just have one more question, if you don't mind. Sure. Um, I, someone from my chat was asking how you feel about. Um, he he's the guy who called in my stream whenever I did my first reaction to your content, and he was talking about how. <clears throat> he lives in a country. I can't remember which country, but I think it's somewhere in South Africa around there. Um, and he was saying his country needs the meat industry to sustain themselves, basically. Um, he's saying like that's that's his justification for it, um, and he also I guess he was saying he he does it in a more humane way. What would what would your response be to that? I don't think that's actually true. Um, so I'm pretty sure they rely on a lot of imported food. So I I don't even think that's actually true. Um, and also when you consider the actual expense of meat eating. Uh, in all likelihood, it would uh, probably be cheaper to import, like, uh, grains and, uh, you know, like, root vegetables than it would do to eat meat. And you get enough, like, the proper sustenance from not eating meat? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, um, you can take a look at me. Uh, I've been posting physique updates and shit on Instagram. Pretty yeah, I've seen, I've seen you. You're, you're definitely jacked. Um, so what would you say for something like a, like a carnivorous animal? Would you justify their eating of meat? Well, no. Um, so I have dogs and a cat, and I feed them all a vegan diet. They do make uh, formulated food for cats and dogs. So my cat's been vegan since he was about six to eight weeks old. Um, I adopted our dogs when pretty much all of them when they were a few months old. <clears throat> and um, they've all been on a vegan diet, and they're a few years old now, very healthy. When it comes to wild animals like tigers, uh, lions, that would be my next you, question. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I'm in favor of culling them, so Damn. killing them so they don't kill other animals. Is that real? Yes. Yeah. You're in favor of like like pushing those animals to extinction. They necessitate yeah. harm and suffering. Fuck them. Oh man. That that's insane. Yeah. Damn. So how do you deal I'm with like favor. overpopulation of other creatures that are non-predatory, but that will run rampant if there's no predators to keep them under control? Yeah, so I am not very convinced that that would happen in most ecosystems. And in that case, there's other ways to control uh, prey species populations. One very easy way is to just Give break up their territory. Oh. So, yeah, like one of the reasons why there's such a huge amount of white-tailed deer is because they were almost hunted to extinction and the government stepped in and they... Um, reforested a lot of area so that they have this very large unbroken territorial range and that's the main reason why they can uh, breed and duplicate so quickly uh, it's because they just have a very long territorial range if you were to just put in some farmland or cities or something to break up some of that territory they wouldn't be able to breed as much and the, the population would be kept under control I don't know if that would work out well on a large scale but um, yeah, I was going to ask you, like, do you find that these kinds of like the arguments that you're having here with, with Tom and such, do you find that these arguments tend to convince people and get them to stop eating meat? Well, I think it convinces sensible people. 
Well, like, so Destiny, like, you uh, overall agree with the logic, but you still eat meat, right? I don't know if I agree with the logic. I think most meat eater logic is bad. I, my argument typically revolves around some amorphous, I think animals are like another kind of creature than humans. So typically all of my moral argumentation only extends to human beings and the human type experience. But vegans would argue that we have reason to believe that animal experiences are similar enough to human experiences that they ought to be considered. Um, but I disagree. But I can just claim that we are existing outside the bounds of the knowledge we can have and that I can have my opinion and fuck you basically. Yeah, like I, I've heard other people uh, that they talk about, yeah, I mean, I can't refute it. I generally agree with the logic, but I still like meat and I keep eating it. And it, yeah, it kind of feels bad, but what else? And I hear that a lot. That's basically the position that I'm in. Okay, I listen, yeah. I think that if you want to be a meat eater, that's a base position and that's totally fine. 100%. Okay. But you have to shut the fuck up when dentists go and hunt lions and you can get mad at your neighbor for like kicking his dog or whatever. Like you just have to shut the fuck up about all animal abuse or all animal whatever. Because when you select is, is that is that how is that how you feel? Like you would shut the fuck up about your neighbor kicking his dog? Yeah, I would think the neighbor is really fucking weird, but like it's just an animal. That's it. Like beating your car or whatever. But if you have like a strong emotional reaction to somebody like abusing a cat or a dog and you want to intervene on that and you eat meat, you're the worst type of person. You're worse than a meat eater. You're worse than a vegan. You're the dumbest and worst type. That's of the type of person I am. I'm I the know. Dumbest that's type the type of, of person being. most meat eaters are. But that's like the most. I feel bad for those. I feel bad for those puppers. That's good. Worms, but why don't you okay. feel bad for any like the cows and the pigs? That are like they're fucking ugly and fucked they're up looking. They're not ugly and they're not and even fucked up looking. Them. You've never seen a cow and a pig in, in real life before. <laughs> what do yes, you mean? I have. Oh, yes, I absolutely have. How can you have. say a cow is fucked up looking compared to some of the like full breed dogs that you've seen that literally can't even breathe okay. because they're such if genetic it's an, freaks? Okay, if, if it's an ugly dog, if it's like a pug, like you want me to defend the pug, I'm not going to defend the pug. Sure, but how, if can it's like, say, how can you say like a cow is ugly? Dude, they're just fucking. They're like big and weird. Like they just they look weird, man. Dude, I like when they're. When I like the, super cute. I don't know what. You're well, talking. the babies are good, which is why I don't eat veal. That's my one my one reservation because I imagine the baby cow. Wait, how the fuck can you not eat veal but you'll eat beef? Because just, it's just like a little. Just, oh no, no, no. You ever not seen veal. those fluffy cows? The adults are super. Cute. Whatever the, yeah, the Highlanders. Whatever the, the Highlanders. whatever the baby one is, the the baby cow. That's what I'm thinking of. Isn't that veal? As veal, but yeah, there's also like cute cows too, the fluffy ones. Those ones nah, are horrible even nah. into their older age. Well, maybe if well, I had to even, see, maybe maybe if I had to see it in front of me, it would disturb you. me. But in my mind, well, um, dude, even if kind cows of ugly. aren't cute to you, they're extremely curious and sensitive animals. Like they'll come up and say hi. They like playing. They'll play with balls. They they're very much like dogs. Um, I've went I've gone to a sanctuary and met a cow. I'm, a yeah. really nice. I'm, I'm aware that yeah. in terms of their their intelligence levels, I think pegs are maybe even smarter than dogs. I've heard. On yeah. my walks um, in my neighborhood, the cows would walk up to the fence line to say hello to me and socialize. It was really cute. Are you a vegan? No, I'm not a vegan. Oh, how do you justify it? So for me, I kind of look at it. I have sort of a complex approach. It's a combination of necessity, sustainability, etc. Right. So um, I tend to default to veganism or to, to like not as like an ideological thing but i tend to default to sourcing everything vegan and in a sustainable way if i can if i can get it if i can afford it if it's sustainable right um yeah. if it becomes necessary or if i have limitations based on my region and and you know resources and such i'll start I'll making allowances for the things that i need that are available to me at the time in that place so there was a time when I was recovering from surgery and I was recovering. I had a spine surgery with a bone graft and I was recovering from many years of celiac disease doing damage to my intestines and I wasn't absorbing nutrients very well and I wasn't incorporating the cadaver bone from my surgery. And my doctors were saying, hey, you need to get a stronger source of protein and you can't do legumes because they cause too much inflammation with your intestines that can't handle it right now and you can't break down grains properly so you can't do like quinoa. So you, you're probably going to have to start considering eating something that's not vegetarian or vegan. Okay. And I was like, so I ended up actually eating some fish and some egg whites in order to get to the point where I could incorporate the cadaver bone enough so that I could Well, you, know, you can have hydrolyzed survive. white protein. Yeah, at the time that couldn't be done because that's, that's legumes, right? So it's too well, high. Well, it's not a legume. It's intestines. hydrolyzed soy protein. It, I think it's it different. Was... It's just an isolated protein. But then you're a soy boy if you eat oh, that. True. That, did, I don't know. I wasn't even familiar with that. But this is back in 2012. My yeah, doctors sure. were saying that I couldn't do soy-based products. So You didn't know that it's well, a hydrolyzed yeah. isolate 
protein? Yeah. You dumb so fuck. So a hydrolyzed soy isolate is different than like a whole bean. So that would have been an, an option for you. Just the isolated protein molecule. Should yeah. Absent the other things that are contributing to the fire. Yeah, so it doesn't have like the phytates and everything in it that might be giving you a problem. It, and like again, they feed that to um, like starving people uh, to get them to gain weight and shit. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, that would have been something for my gastroenterologist to recommend mm -hmm. or a dietitian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But um, I, I think for Turkey Tom, your mm -hmm. issue is you just have to fucking try veganism and try a lot of different like mock meats and options. I, I think mentally you'll be surprised how much better you feel knowing you're not supporting animal abuse, and you'll be surprised how easy it is. Don't yeah. fucking do it, Tom. It. You're Don't a slave right now to thinking that every meal that you have has to have a meat in it. That's a slave thing, okay? You don't need that. There's plenty of food and well, meals you can just construct without ever having a meat. There's tons of beans well, and rice and mushrooms, and there's a whole world of food out there absent meats, Tom. This is, and this is the question I like Look, to ask. Look, there's a world of foods. But I can, I can tell you're being ironic because you know that none of those foods are nearly as good without a fucking, without, without like a, a New York strip next really? to it. Really? Okay? Is that true? How good is the average New York strip that you eat? Dog shit. Um, you'll make this pretty argument good, that actually. you need. You'll I make like this it. argument that you Whoa. need a New York strip. You'll go to fucking Denny's and order the most disgusting steak in the world. When guess bro, what? I like Cheap Denny's and rice steak. Bro, would have been better for you. It would have been better, if, and you would have less. But it's, it's not about being better for me. It's about, it's about me enjoying it, and I like Denny's. Okay, I like Denny's Everybody, burgers. You ever had a Denny's burger? If you like Denny's, then there are plenty of vegan options that are far superior. Have you even had an Impossible Burger before? Well, Yes, and yeah, I don't right. like them. I don't like them. Wait, don't bullshit. Like mug bean products? Come on. You should do a video. What the fuck is a mug Dude, bean? hold on. Wait, you should do a video, okay? Easy video, easy content. You should do a video where a friend prepares two burgers for you, or three. There's the Impossible, there's an Ordinary One, and then there's the... What's the other one? What's beyond, the other vegan I burger? The yeah, Beyond. Yeah, beyond, beyond Burger. The one. Yeah, Beyond Burger, an Impossible Burger, and a No Burger, and then have you taste test all three. I bet you won't be able to pick the, that one out. Do it. Yeah, but I want the video. I want the real but I want the real burger. Ah, uh, see. Like also, nobody would fucking know. watch me eat burgers. Yeah, they watch they, would, they watch I me to watch. talk to, to dumbasses like you. Nope, Destiny, I'd okay? watch it. That's my whole audience it. is waiting to watch that video. No, they're not. You would not watch it. Yeah, I would. Okay, if I do this video, I'm gonna send it to you. You're gonna ignore it on stream, and later you're gonna send me like an exclamation point emoji or like or like with a heart, and you're gonna say like, okay, buddy, and you're not gonna watch it. That's what you're gonna do. So, bro, have you have you had the Beyond sausages? Yeah, they're really good. Especially the they, I did, ha I did, I, I have had those. They were better than the burger, undoubtedly better than, like more close to meat taste. I would say. Yeah, the Beyond Breakfast links are amazing. The patties are shit. Um, if you can find it, you should try the Guardian. I think Supreme Burger. I think that's my favorite plant-based burger. How do you feel about eggs? Well, they're they're unethical. Um, basically, uh, fem female like egg-laying hens. Who just joined and left? Who was that? Battery case, Zena. You know? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, they're forced into battery cages, and male chicks are uh, basically thrown into a blender while they're fully conscious because they're useless to the egg industry. Well, so I have neighbors who have chickens and such, and sometimes they give me eggs that are just from the chickens, or sometimes we even trade. Like, I'll give them tomatoes that I grow in my garden and be like, hey, uh, what do you got? They'll give me some onions, and they'll give me, like, you know, a couple of eggs or something that their chickens laid. So sometimes, what about stuff like that that's that kind of situation yeah so it kind of depends if they're rescue chickens so they've been rescued from like a factory farm i don't necessarily see a problem with uh taking some of their eggs and eating them the issue is if you're getting um egg laying hens from a breeder um they're going to end up having health problems that are related to their breed so you're breeding in disease to these animals and they don't lay eggs forever, so there's going to be a point, it, they only usually lay eggs for about a year or two until their egg laying either stops completely or uh, slows down. Which is why... Or they um, start a lot breaking people, internally and such. Yeah, yeah, so which is why a lot of people who have backyard ends, they actually rent them. So once the rental period's over, again, usually a year or two, uh, they send them back to the company and they're just killed. And again, the same issue happens with rec the but I don't chips. know. I know some are rescued, but I don't know what the trend is. I'm guessing it's probably most of them come from like some, you know, breeder that they buy from is my guess. Tom, Tom, you can't listen to the vegans. And I'm going to tell you exactly why Vegan Gains has been lying to you for this entire call. The kid he made fun of for dying of cancer was seven years old and not 10. Oh, uh, I see. Did he make fun of him for dying of cancer? 
Uh, he made fun no. of a Facebook post. I posted the video though in the chat if you guys want to check it out. Mm. No, I made fun of I, I made fun of Eddie Hall for taking advantage of that kid uh, to like progress his career, but I didn't make fun of. That I mean, kid. he has a picture with the kid in the post. He knew the kid. Right, but like again, the facts surrounding the case. He only made this post on his professional Facebook page, not his personal page. Him preaching in this like really soy manner. Um, cancer is a horrible, horrible disease that I want to see like gone from this world. Like I don't know. It, it seems to me that he was just taking advantage of the situation. That sounds terrible. What a monster. Vegan Games, how do you feel about uh, the way I was introduced to you was way back in the day. I was like 14. I was watching Leafy. You were in some of his videos. How do you feel about him today? I think he's a piece of shit. He's even worse. Damn. He's friend with Fuentes. Damn. He's, he, I, I think he is probably a Holocaust denier. Damn. Um, you think he's a Holocaust he denier? He and trans people. He probably, if he's a friend with Fuentes. Um, hmm. I wouldn't be... Is so, he friends with Fuentes? Yeah. He, yeah he, what, do you, this, hey, what do you think of people who are friends with Fuentes? <laughs> True. Uh, I don't know. If you're legitimate. Then. Friends with Fuentes is like not even remotely the worst thing that Leafy's done. That Leafy guy is like, yeah. he's a dude that yeah. sucked from like 20, like 12 or 2013 on the internet. Okay. Now, 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 I'm not saying this makes him a good Thomas, person. The problem is, no, Thomas, but, Thomas, 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 Thomas is friends with Leafy, so he will defend it, but Leafy is legitimate. I'm not, 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 i am not 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 i am not
Yeah, usually when somebody keeps doing the same kind of shit posting over and over again, there's definitely an underlying belief there. It, otherwise, it just yeah. I don't know about definitely, but there but there there definitely could be. There there definitely could be. There could be. Um, now, as far as Leafy, um, I want to talk about deep platform with you guys. Um, let's say you know, don't take into account the recent like you know tr trans whatever um, stuff he's been saying. Let's let's rewind the clock back to 2020 when he's going after Pokemane and Idubs, um, and he gets banned from YouTube. Um, how do you guys feel about him being banned? And like, do you think that's that's a good thing? I don't know what the specific. Re I do you think know? the Pokemon. If he if he only got banned over the Pokemon thing, I think that's a little messed up. But I believe really that's the reason he was banned. Wait, wait. Can we can we say for everybody what exactly did he do? So Le so Leafy is here made I think twelve videos in a row with Pokemon in the title and thumbnail. Jesus um, I think I think the first Whoa, four really? or five I it was were only one. No, I think the first four or five were actually about her, and the rest were clickbait for people to watch his other videos where he just bullshitted. But the other ones were about Pokey for sure. Um, but basically, that's I think that they said it was targeted harassment because he was like incessantly making right. videos about her. I would suspect I don't know this because YouTube their statement was pretty vague as it always is if they even make a statement. But one thing that happened was he was telling people like go in her chat or go in her Discord server and say my name and speed run mm. getting banned, and so people went to her chat and whatever. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I, once again, I don't really I don't give sense, a fuck. Then. I mean, it makes sense they did it. I don't really give a shit about uh, hate rating or whatever. I don't. I don't. I, in my Is personal really opinion, I don't think. Perma? If Bro, I Leafy made a video about me. Like, if he tells his fans to go fucking harass you, that's a different level. I mean, okay, if he tells his fans to, I feel like there's levels of harassment though too. Like, if he's telling people to go in your chat and like say L, Dude, like and say L vegan gains. He didn't even do that. He didn't even tell them to go to my channel and like harass me. Uh, he just made the video. The endless, uh, I, I received probably in the millions, dude, comments telling me to kill myself, uh, the <laughs> stupid memes like hiss and shit. Yeah, well, I so mean, that is stream, sometimes what happens, you know? Okay. So with a stream, it's a little bit different. Were these on your videos or streams? Because of Pokemon, videos. it was in her streams. Yeah, videos. And, and and what I'm saying is it's probably worse for Pokemon yeah. because he he told everybody to go to her channel and streams and harass her. I just so like I just like don't that for me. I'm not surprised he got banned for that that much, but like yeah. I just don't I just don't really care about hate raids. Like I think it's like a not, yeah. not a big deal. For, for for me it's like the what's that when Tyler Creator tweet? Hi was cyberbullying real. You know that thing? That's how I feel. I mean, I've never had to deal with like a particularly massive one, except for like a few riper raids where it's like in the range of like hundreds, you know, or low thousands. But um, I with would Leafy, imagine, it's totally with, different. yeah, with Leafy, that's a lot, especially back then, right? There weren't as yeah. many tools to deal with it. But I feel like it's so, like you just kind of ignore it and then like make another video on it, you know, it's over. I mean, if it's dwarfing your own audience no. or being difficult to manage, that lasts what do you mean? for three months, dude three months of just my comment section being swarmed with children trying to The problem uh, I think is that myself. like- But in fairness, in his case, he didn't even tell people to do that. Isn't that what you said? He yes, like it just happened because of his fan he, base. That, that's my point. That's my point. It just happened with me. With, um, what's her name? Pokemon. He told his audience to go and do it. So it was probably even worse for her. Wait, we have a disagreement of fact. Did he direct his fan base to Poke or not? I'm he pretty did. sure. I'm pretty sure there were there, in the videos he was doing stuff like speed run getting banned in her server or stuff by saying my name. Oh so sure, like yeah. In I think at that point. Stream? I think at that point. I think it was server and stream chat. Maybe both of them. I can't remember. I think at that point, if you're literally directing harassment to people, you're like making the platform unusable for a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because it's not only just impacting. But it's her, just like it's impacting all of her fans like, as well, right? It's just like it's like really funny. Like I don't, it's really also, funny. The other thing to keep in mind is like YouTube wants their streamers to stay on there and keep continuing to give yeah. them money, right? Well, so that's the other thing. She wasn't even on YouTube. She was on Twitch. Oh uh, yeah, well Twitch. Wait, well, hold on, right hold on. Pokey was posting on. videos on YouTube that were getting lots of views. I don't know why I would say she was just on Twitch, not on YouTube. Okay, but she was. But the the the, like, the bro, supposed hate rating would have been happening on Twitch. No. Have you ever gotten like yeah. hate rated or harassed by Leafy fans? Like it, Me? it fucks no. up your business. Like, like you, you, it makes it hard to f make money. These aren't good arguments well, yeah. though. Being against. Hold on, hold on. These aren't good. Just because something makes it hard to make money is like if he, if Tom were to make an expose video on me because he found out a 
14 year old it would also make it hard for me to make money and shit. Yeah, so that's know, not a good argument in and of itself we have to talk about the harassment sure i know but we well, but the behavior should be bad in and of itself like not without yeah. notwithstanding any other things right? well yeah. i'm saying well, it's, well, I it's would... a big deal it shouldn't be triv trivialized the kind of hate harassment that leafy can you know send somebody sure well i would t i would make I, c I could make the argument it might be a little hard to make but that if you, especially if you're a big streamer on twitch you're generating a lot of ad revenue for them, right? And so they want you to stay online. And if it gets to the point where you can't even manage it with the tools that they provide you, let alone the additional third party tools, and it gets to the point where you can't actually properly function on the site and have to drop off or have to start shutting down who can interact and such. That what does that mean though, manage it? I guess I don't, I, I don't really understand. Like, do, can you just well, like ban words in your chat? Like. You, you can, but there's bots you can use to circumvent it. Well, these days there's better tooling for it, yeah. both from the Twitch side and third party. Um, but yeah, I mean, you're going to hit a situation where you can have difficulty even getting to the point of keeping the, you know, the stable, the steady flow of users on there who would be watching, who are interested, who would actually click on the ads or watch the ads or, you know, pay the money because they're going to get overwhelmed as well because you're not able to manage it. It's a mess. I feel like, I feel like to me it's like... Off. If right? someone so sends their fan base so to me, like themselves is losing money over it. To me, I feel like it's almost like a fun, like it's like a drama, like a saga. Like you get to watch it. It's like, oh, the armies are colliding. Like yo, it's like Game of Thrones. You know, it's well, like Braveheart when the guy is like, though. like he always punches. Well, down. well, yeah, was because his channel was so that. big, right? Well, well and also, I think it's not. Down, it's right? not. Hold on, it's not the. Um, it's not that it's like a fun armies thing. It does. I think it's. I think it takes on a much different character when only one side is engaging. Yeah. Like if Pokey That's was like, sending but, but 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 I guess from my perspective, I'm just saying like when I see that shit, it's like oh shit, it's like fucking, it's like war, you know? It's like but it's not going. it's not war, it's like terrorism. It's not. It depends. I mean, on, in like, Leafy's the case, of but your like community, right? Like in my community, we actually like that kind of shit. So like, yeah, if something happens and somebody's like coming in and hate rating us, we're like, fuck yeah, everybody jump over to the YouTube chat now, just bombard the shit out of them. We're gonna turn it into a big old mess and then we'll make it content, right? We love that shit. But that's not the kind of community that Pokemon has built. So they're not prepared to do that kind of thing. And more likely you're yeah. gonna have a, an attrition problem. And so all the regular viewers are probably gonna drop off. Yeah, like yeah, that's when why I do IRL streams. People like hate raid me a lot, and it makes it like fucking impossible a lot of the time to do IRL streams. And at least on YouTube, the tools they give you—if somebody has like a bot, they can circumvent pretty much every tool you have. Like the um, you can only you can make it so people can only comment every like minute or something, or every ten seconds. They can just circumvent that. They can make like a million different profiles, uh, like a second, and then just circumvent those. A and even the subscriber thing. So you can only comment after you subscribe for an hour. I've seen people circumvent that with bots. So I if you have people who are like like Leafy's fan base that are out to get you, they'll get you. And it's not fun. Like it fucks up your actual like business you're doing. Yeah, this well, be why I guess the that's why. Is that's so why. You, right? <laughs> I guess that's why YouTube has uh has shut down. You know that kind of content. You can't. You couldn't do what Leafy does today. Yeah. Which I think yeah. is good, yeah. honestly. With I mean, what you tried doing. last year. I I just thought it was so much funnier. Like the current commentary channels, like at the top of the rung, just so boring. You know they don't say it. So yeah, but I think that that part of the issue is with the harassers. Like shit used to be funny on the internet for a few reasons. One is because. Like here's something that I really don't like. This is like this is this is a microcosm of everything wrong today with the internet. Do you know what it means to troll? Can you tell me what that means? To troll? Yeah. What do you think? I, and you're young, I guess. So yeah, we'll fight on this. Go. What do you think a troll? What do you think it means to troll? Um, I guess trolling means like playing pretend, like fucking with someone, you know, joking, like riling them up, poking them, prodding them. That's what trolling means to me. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you're yeah you're you're close than I thought. Yeah, basically that's it. Yeah, trolling is when you know you're doing something that's fucking retarded. That's the point. Is you know it's, it's like it's, it's like it's like expressing right? an opinion that you think is dumb. Exactly. For the sure. purpose of making someone the, mad. Like. Yeah, but there's a couple problems. One is it's impossible to troll on the internet now because everybody's on the internet. It's not just like internet savvy or computer people. Now it's everybody. So as soon as you start saying kind of a troll, you know, some fucking kid gets arrested because he's drawn up plans to go shit up his school because he wants to like actually kill the Indians because he thinks they're going to shit in the street or something, right? Or some guy's going to Buffalo to New York, copy pasting manifesto lines that he got on 4chan, right? And he actually wants to murder black people, right? So that's, that's one huge fuck up, right? Is that it's not just trolling now. There's too many fucking retards that are Fuck involved. Up. 
that are actually... I'll fuck up on whose part, I guess, is my question. Right? Well, the, it doesn't matter who, unfortunately. It's just the fact that it happens. And the fact that it does happen means that now you have to be cognizant of the communities that you run if you get that kind of trolling, right? If I have a, a group of friends you know, from 15 years ago, we're on Battle of the Net, we're trolling, like, I'll say whatever the fuck, dude. We said some of the most vile shit I could ever fucking imagine, okay? Hitler would be blushing at the shit we wrote in these Battle of the Net chats. But nowadays, yeah. if I do that in my community, bro, if I roll the dice on that, how many people watch me? Somebody's probably gonna do something crazy, right? So I think that's part of it. And then another So are you part, saying it's, part, it's more fine to do stuff like that if it's in like kind of a private setting where everyone knows this is a joke? Sure, yeah. And the internet like isn't really like that anymore. And then the second issue is that people never let things go and shit goes like full court press and leaks into the real world too much too. Like I think that the internet was a bit more compartmentalized back then. Like if somebody's harassed me on Battle.net, whatever. My friends that I have on MSN are different than my friends that I have on AIM. These are like, these are like old chat programs, right? Like, it's like kind of like different. I can like turn but it people, off. But people now aren't really anonymous, right? Yeah, and when people, when Leafy was attacking Pokemon, it wasn't just messages being spammed in her Twitch chat. It was every single comment section on every single video on all of her YouTube channels. It was all of her tweets and the replies to it. It was every single Instagram post and the replies to it. And it was for months. Two out of 10, two out of 10. But it was like, it was like really funny, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it was really I funny. Right, well. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not mature enough. Maybe I just need to grow up. Maybe. I don't think you've I experienced mean, it. Like, it, it's just really I definitely have, yeah. annoying. I've, 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 I've experienced, I've, I've experienced brigading uh, the Reddit threads. The I have, I have yeah. videos on my channel with like crazy, like dislikes you guys have never seen, I promise. And, well, I you think know, that's another <laughs> example of like, you have a different community than Vegan Games does. Like, I think your community is also better able to handle that kind of thing than Vegan Games would. I feel like I don't have a community. I feel like I just have like an, like I don't have a, I had a Discord server, but I shut it down because the mods just couldn't handle running it responsibly. Like, and I just couldn't fucking deal with them. So I don't really have a community. I just like, dude, this, this whole community thing, I'm so sick of that language too. Like influencer community is like the cringiest, New age terms to describe internet stuff. Like I just stream to an audience. It's not a community. I don't know them. You know. Yeah, but like I'm attracting an audience that's okay with the hate rating and the bombarding and stuff like that, and they're not going to like go with, go somewhere else to getting tired of it, right? There are certain communities that you're, your content is going to build a certain type of audience, and they may not be as tolerant of that kind of thing. And Pokemon's would be an example of that, and I think possibly vegan games might be as well. Whereas, like, I think your audience and my audience are going to be a little bit more tolerant to that kind of stuff. Maybe, but the audience's mixing is the most fire thing of all time. That's what makes entertainment. That's what makes it so. Well, it's not mixing. Like again, when you just have uh... boring. Literally millions of comments saying "kill yourself" on every fucking post you make. That's not warring. Yeah, that does, that is pretty bad. I feel bad for you, actually. It <laughs> sounds pretty bad. Like it doesn't. Did that, uh, like it doesn't. Does that affect your mental personally. health at all, or no? No, it, it doesn't offend me personally. What annoys me is that okay, well now people who watch my videos can't comment. Now I can't yeah. interact with my audience. Now if I do a fucking live stream, I can't do a live stream because it's just kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself. Right. Yeah, yeah, man. And, and I'm sure YouTube there's vulnerable so... people that are like suicidally depressed, like me, who would take that personally. That's true. That's true. And I feel bad for them, but I don't know. I just feel like the internet was more wild and fun. Even, even like I'm sure it was for you know people who are older. I'm relatively young, but when I was like, man, 2016, 2015. That was fucking crazy. I feel like we haven't had anything that's compared to that since then. Yeah, but it's not. Ooh. 2016 to 20... I'm going to pull age on all you fucking losers <laughs> here, except we're going to be zoning. 2016, 2015... I acknowledge that. 2015, 2016, it wasn't fun. That's when you fucking kids started to fucking ruin it and started to get in the mainstream media with fucking terrorist attacks and you guys started writing fucking manifestos and you guys started fucking doing racially motivated killings. I only did that people like, like five Elliot, times, dude. People like Show Elliot Rogers started going out and fucking stabbing girls or whatever, right? It was funny when it was on the internet before and we acted like the most... It was like... Um, I don't even know how you would describe it it's like a bunch of guys going into the ring and be, it was like fight club the early internet was fight like fight yeah. club and now the internet is like a nazi training camp and that's the difference yeah. it was fun <laughs> to go in and be degenerate fucking crazy people and if your chat yeah. logs leak you're like whatever fucking who you is crazy but then when you're done you're like bro we all know that shit is degenerate and crazy and hilarious but around like like 20 and 2010 onwards shit just started to get so much more fucking real and then it's like it's not it's just not fun and it's not fun anymore because now like poll like the politics board on 4chan went from being a bunch of kind of weird racist humorous like losers to like being like some of the largest supports for like mainstream political candidates later it's just like everything got ruined because everything got so real world and mm. so like not fun anymore not just for fun anymore 
Yeah, I feel like there's some meme that I can't think of right now that describes this phenomenon. Despacito, perfectly. like perfectly describes. Yeah, it. Despacito <laughs> probably does describe yeah. it perfectly. I'm glad you. I'm glad you're adopting this meme. That makes me very happy. Um, don't don't miss it on Despacito two though and Despacito three. They're pretty good. Well, you'll, you'll, anyway, you'll learn those when you're um, a little older, but. I gotta go do cardio, so I will tell you all to uh, go vegan and take care. And uh, Turkey Tom, if you want some advice on going vegan or, or whatever, just hit me up on Instagram. I'd Insta. like some advice on weightlifting. I would like some advice oh, on that. Oh, um, yeah, I'd be more than happy to. Don't um, let him weightlift Insta. unless he stops using non-vegan supplements. No whey protein. <laughs> well, I'll help him either way. But um, okay. yeah, hit me up on Insta. There's a lot of fake accounts of me, but I'm vegangains.real on Instagram, and my profile okay. picture is me and my motorcycle helmet in the winter and shit. All right, let me write that down so I remember the vegan gains dot real. Any any yeah. caps or anything? Um, let me actually vegan. check. I can't even remember. I don't actually know if Instagram's case sensitive, but just want to make sure. I don't think it's case sensitive. No. Yeah. Okay. It's not. Well, 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 mine is Tom, but dark, so you'll know when you see it. All right. Have okay, a good cool. one, man. Nice. All nice right. Meeting take care, you. dude. See ya. Yo, that was a fire. That was fire. That was straight fire. You yeah. guys experienced the fire happening? I experienced the fire happening. Mm -hmm. You know, I got an email of a guy who wanted me to go in hard on you. I didn't even read the whole email, but I bet. What do you say? <sighs> Let's see if we can end Turkey. I would guess here. I know what it's about. Oh, yeah? But we can we can, we can go into it if you oh, want. Oh, guess. Guess first. I want to hear. Um. No, no. You go. You go. <laughs> but but I but I know. Okay, wait. I'll DM it to you. Uh-huh. And then you can tell me if I'm right when you see the email. Okay. Okay. Why are you insecure about it? Come on. Oh, Des I'm not insecure. I'm sorry. Hold on. Despacito just started playing as soon as you DM me that, but I'm just going to read this email, okay? Okay, here we go. Hey, Destiny. I noticed you've been having Turkey Tom join your streams lately, and I wanted to chat about it. I think it might not be the best move, and here's why. Turkey Tom has a track record of making videos with some pretty wild and unfounded claims about people, and he doesn't back down even when he's proven wrong. One of the most glaring examples is his videos about Pyro Cynical. He accused yeah. Pyro of grooming a minor, but Pyro managed to show through Discord logs that it wasn't the case. The twist here is that those logs revealed some rather unusual fetishes of Pyro's, which was pretty humiliating for him being revealed to millions of people. But even after getting called out and not having any real evidence to back up his claims, Turkey Tom doubled down on the accusations in another video. To top it off, he never really apologized for any of this. I think okay. if you're going to platform someone like Turkey Tom, it might send the wrong message about the kind of content and creators you want to associate with. However, it's ultimately your call. Here are the videos in order if you want proof of what I said. Then two Turkey Tom videos are linked, Pyro's response videos linked, and then Turkey Tom doubling down. Okay, so for the record, this isn't something I've avoided talking about. If someone asks me about it, I will talk about it. But uh -huh. yeah, basically, let me think, three-ish years ago, there was a big, big drama, big drama in the commentary community. Um, There's this big YouTuber named Pyro Cynical who this kid named Ivory Rasmus came out and claimed that he was being, uh, he was being, he, was, he claimed he was being groomed by Pyrocynical. Now, I, I avoided saying that he groomed anyone because I don't know if you could characterize it as that. Mm -hmm. um, I believe the age gap was a 15 year old and a 19 year old. Um, but what I did say is that um, Pyrocynical made this big Reddit post. The Reddit post had a bunch of lies about Ivory Rasmus and I disproved those. Um, beyond that, a bunch of rumors were being spread about him. Um, and I definitely said like, you know, Pyrocynical is like a depraved sex freak. Um, and I find it pretty, pretty disgusting. Um, mm -hmm. now there was one giant, giant fuck up that I made in this whole thing. Okay. And that was definitely using Pyrocynical's video to his advantage. And, you know, I don't, I don't really blame him for taking that as an out. In the, my, I made like this document about it back in the day, right? And in this document, I compared him to Red Kiwis, someone who many would describe as an actual pedophile. Um, so that was like definitely a big fuck up on my part, but just to make it clear, I don't think Pyrocynical is a groomer or a pedophile. Wow. I think he's a degenerate, furry, um, and he, he sexed someone who was too young for him. So, yeah. Wow. That's my, uh, that's my explanation. You can take that what you will. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Good for yeah. you. I'm glad you, I'm glad you're <laughs> able to admit that today. Sonia, I saw the link you tweeted. I have no desire to ever engage with, talk about, do anything relating to that um, yeah. President Sunday guy. He's a fucking loser. I don't care. Someone just linked it to me. So I was like, what? Yeah. By the way, this? if anyone disagrees with me, I uh -oh. I'll even talk to that guy on my stream if he wants to. Talk. Ooh. We could have a conversation. Okay. Wow. We'll, we'll run it back. Oh, my God.
this turkey's in the oven. <laughs> oh, see, yeah, you know, someone just yeah. linked me those fuzzy cows, those fluffy highland cows. They are oh. so cute. Yeah. I can't believe you don't think they're cute, Tom. I mean, the highland cows can be cute, but just like a normal ass cow, like it's just kind of boring, you know. God damn. Well, God, I for can't the record, wait. for gonna, the record, I hope also, get, I, hope get, I hope you get canceled on my stream someday, <laughs> and like right after you get canceled, and you're like, career's over, and you're crying, and you're like, ha, it's Thanksgiving, boys. Oh my God, I can't oh wait for God, that bro. moment. <laughs> Despacito, oh holy shit, I'm so excited for that. Sorry, what were you gonna say? I can't remember. You you just you destroyed me with the Despacito thing. Sorry, man. It was bad. something. My bad. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, that is that is a real thing, you know, real situation that happened anyway, and you're you're welcome to watch it all and react to it if you want. But it is rather old. Wow. Um, but yeah, here you go. I'm an open book. Okay, I'm not hiding. I'm not running. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will not be accused of hiding or running. 